In algebraic geometry, a action of a group scheme is a generalization of a group action to a group scheme. Precisely, given a group S scheme G, a left action of G on an S scheme X is an S morphism. Sigma G times S X X display style sigma G times underscore S X to X, such that associativity sigma one G times Sigma equals Sigma M times one X display style Sigma circ one underscore G times Sigma equals Sigma circ M times one underscore X where M G times S G G display style M G times underscore S G to G is the group law unitality sigma E times one X equals one X display style Sigma circ e times 1 underscore X equals 1 underscore X where e s G display style e s to G is the identity section of G a right action of G on X is defined analogously a scheme equipped with a left or right action of a group scheme G is called a G scheme. An equivariant morphism between G schemes is a morphism of schemes that intertwines the respective G actions. More generally, one can also consider at least some special case of an action of a group functor, viewing G as a functor, an action is given as a natural transformation satisfying the conditions analogous to the above. Alternatively, some authors study group action in the language of a groupoid, a group scheme action is then an example of a groupoid scheme. topic constructs the usual constructs for a group action such as orbits generalize to a group scheme action let sigma display style sigma be a given group scheme action as above given a t valued point x t x Display style x t to x. The orbit map sigma x g times s t x times s t. Display style sigma underscore x g times underscore s t to x times underscore s t is given as sigma one g times x p two display style sigma circ one underscore g times x p underscore two the orbit of x is the image of the orbit map sigma x display style sigma underscore x the stabilizer of x is the fiber over sigma x display style sigma underscore x of the map x 1 t t X times S T display style X one underscore T T to X times underscore S T T 
Topic: <laughs> Problem of constructing a quotient. Unlike a set theoretic group action, there is no straightforward way to construct a quotient for a group scheme action. One exception is the case when the action is free, the case of a principal fiber bundle. There are several approaches to overcome this difficulty. Level structure, perhaps the oldest, the approach replaces an object to classify by an object together with a level structure. Geometric invariant theory – throw away bad orbits and then take a quotient. The drawback is that there is no canonical way to introduce the notion of «bad orbits». The notion depends on a choice of linearization. See also, categorical quotient, git quotient. Borel construction – this is an approach essentially from algebraic topology, this approach requires one to work with an infinite dimensional space. Analytic approach – the theory of Teichmüller space Quotient stack – in a sense, this is the ultimate answer to the problem. Roughly, a «quotient prestack» is the category of orbits and one stackify i.e., the introduction of the notion of a torsor it to get a quotient stack, depending on applications, another apraic would be to shift the focus away from a space then onto stuff on a space, e.g., topos. So the problem shifts from the classification of orbits to that of equivariant objects. Topic. See also Groupoid scheme Sumihiro's theorem Equivariant sheaf Borel fixed-point theorem <laughs>